Welcome back to John's Films. Today I'd like to show you some effects you can create with the DaVinci Resolve Free Edition, much like the intro I just created. Let's jump right into it. So here we are in the color page. If you haven't been here to my channel before, feel free to subscribe. We just passed 11,000 subscribers. And today I'm only using things in the free edition of Resolve. I'm gonna start with one called Abstraction out of the Resolve FX Stylize. If you don't see your effects here on the color page, click on the effects up here in the top right and you'll see everything that you need. And if I click on it and search in my search box, I can just pull and drag You'll notice it already pumps up some of the color there. Pretty neat. I can play with these effects though and really try and push it to whatever I'd like. How strongly do I want it to be abstracted? It even gives me some edge control here on how much blur or kind of contrast in some cases I'd like to create around those edges. Finally, I have a global blend which allows me to say keyframe it to go from the standard view all the way up to whatever view I've created here. Now, because this is a colorful view, I think I'm going to keep it like this and maybe push a little bit of saturation into it. Ooh, let's not go too crazy. There we go. The next clip I wanna look at is a time-lapse of a high contrast city scene. I love this type of thing for an effect in this case because I'm able to use, again, abstraction, drop it on there and now choose specifically how much do I want this to play. I'm going to keep it relatively close to real life here and try and play up the edge controls. You'll see the difference when I pop those in, maybe throw a little bit more edge strength into it. And if I'm going to play with quantization, what this does is provide uh, a little bit of cubing throughout the entirety of it. Really what it's doing is taking like colors and popping them into buckets. I can see that here in the output of the scopes as it starts to group regular colors together. I love the effect as we play through it. It's an interesting view and it's something that you could use potentially as a transition, just keyframe at the end of the, the clip maybe, keyframe out to something like that as it's transitioning. Finally, a control that I've found that I can add to this is something called Prism Blur. And as we were talking about in our transitions, a lot of folks have gotten to glitch transitions and this, this clip doesn't necessarily show it well enough. So I'm gonna jump over to another clip by hitting clips and choosing say this escalator scene. The escalator scene, I've already applied something called watercolor. If we turn that off, you can see it's just a pretty monochromatic shot with escalators going up and down. The reason I chose this is it has some pretty strong edges and I thought, wow, I bet we could create some cool structure for say a background with this. And I'm going to blur out using the watercolor nodes several of the details that exist in say the edges of the steps to save myself some work trying to filter down which edges I'd like to highlight later. Now I can come in, use my edge detect as I'd want to. Almost immediately I have quite a cool view I could use as a background or another transition scene because this is pretty monochromatic, you don't see much, although there is some blue, some green, and some yellow in here that I like. If I didn't, I could pop it to grayscale and have all of them be truly monochromatic. I've got a threshold that allows me to choose exactly how much detail I reveal, and I can go to a brightness effect, which really pretty immediately gives me a lot of ideas around uh, maybe an overlay, glitch, transition. You don't have to know their escalators. You could really try and create it so that it's just some sort of pattern or structure you want to create showing some movement. Here's another instance where I've taken edge detect and gone crazy with it. And really, I love this because I chose modern office style, which again has some strong lines to it. And I'm able to use the edge detect with RGB edges to give myself exactly what threshold I want, how smooth or blurry I want it to be. And I feel like there's a lot of neat effects or view that you could create out of this. Here you can see I've chosen soften instead of sharpen, and it allows me to see a lot more detail in the scene. I'm also able to denoise the glow that comes off of this now new neon type view. Going back to the escalator, the last thing I wanna show you is one of the building blocks of a glitch effect. You'll notice in a glitch effect, often there are uh, separated light colors of RGB. So you'll see a red channel and a green channel that aren't aligned with each other anymore. You can use the prism blur to make that happen. I'll go back here and maybe brighten this up so that we can see more of it. Here in the prism blur, I have an aberration and you'll notice as I pull it apart, I'm getting differences in where the RGB channels are. Most prominently, you see that in the green here as it's pulling off of the base set. And I can go with strength as well. So exactly how strong is this? Woo! 
and immediately you start to see where some of the glitch effect comes from and you get some ideas. I mean, you can't tell what that is, but if you were to drop this down in a keyframe, all of a sudden you've got some escalators and at the same time you're keyframing, say, the effect of the edge detect, you could really land in a pretty cool spot. All right, thank you for watching. I hope this has given you some ideas to go be creative and at least play around with these. These are really neat effects to be aware of and something that you never know when it might come in and help your video making. Thanks for watching and have a great day.